What's up everyone, my name's Nigark, and welcome back to Spaz2. Today I'm gonna take a quick look at our interface, because it threw us this interface and didn't tell us anything about it, so... Um, RZ50, 60 out of 60, 100, 3 out of 3. Alright. We have Assemble Ship down here, which uh, I don't have any new pieces, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's go back to Resume. Oh, I'm stuck here. Um... Uh, main menu, single player, continue. Okay, that's I found my way back. Inventory. To curb interplanetary diseases, just about all of our traded goods now have to go through this hands-off filtered interface. Nobody can stab you in the back or shoot you in the face using an interface like this. Just configure the deal, and the auto loaders should take care of the rest. My items are on the left. Trade for items and supplies on the right. Try to balance the deal to maximize profit. If you sell a connected part while buying a similar part, it will automatically swap it into place. Cute. So this is my stuff. I have 100 stuff, and 50 stuff, and 60 stuff. And this is my stuff. That's a cute sound. Anyways. Um, engine mode normal, res burn per second, 0.22, ship size, negative 0.07, good, just what I always wanted, a ship that literally is, uh, impossible to see. Faction info, don't want to even look at this, what was that, look at that, look at that face right there. Lore? Ugh. Tutorials. Shipbuilding, booster check, goons. It doesn't even let me see the tutorials for stuff that I haven't seen yet. At least it doesn't look like it lets me see that. Okay, so it wants me to explore. Time only moves when I move. All transportation, mining, harvesting, and communication is done via the star map. Take your time and plan your actions. Explore a new territory. Right mouse button to set a destination on the map and mouse wheel to move. So we have a res field. Owner by Mr. Poner. While you can't find res at the local corner store anymore, there are a few special places where res does continue to grow. These rare and mysterious locations are highly sought after. This is owned by another person. I can ransack it, or I could just leave him alone. I think I'm just gonna leave him alone. But I believe it wants us to find a new section. Oh, there's lore over there? Fuck that. So let's just explore. All right, we are mobile. Did it. If you are all thoroughly satisfied, we can finally get on with it. We still have stickers out there, not to mention a laundry list of equipment we need before we can do anything about them. Time is of the essence, and we've wasted so much of it already. Mm -hmm. As anxious as I am to find a so-called sticky, we have not encountered one for many cycles. The ship does not yet have a nacelle to stand on. Therefore, we need to scout more easy opportunities to exploit- I'll show you a sticky, Carl. Okay. Okay. If I... What happens if I left-click? Okay, I can click and drag with left-click. It wants me to go over here, obviously. I don't know... Star Puncher, Hostile minus 40, level 1, threat 8, markup 120%. Ugh, lore. Wreckage? Owned by someone. Resfield. Okay, so we're just gonna... Come right here. This is a bandit hive. Threat 20. That's an entire freaking starbase. I don't, I don't know what I'm exploring for. Okay, I'm calling it. We need to shift our focus back to more pressing needs. Everyone on board is expected to understand that the mothership takes priority over everything, including our very lives. Wow. In effect, mother needs to be fed. If we can't find what she needs, we die along with her. If we cannot trade for what we need, we'll have to take it by force. Hoof to take it. As cruel as it is, that's just life. I see fit to enlighten everyone that every action on board consumes something. Don't let these critical supplies run dry. I've gone to the effort of labeling all the viable extraction points, as well as indicating when they are ready for harvest. I have also color-coded human selfishness, 
so you're aware if any other faction claims ownership of these areas. Find basic resource nodes. Blowing up the mothership is not advisable. Okay, so ship assessment. I guess this shows us like our strength. Unclaimed resources have like a little explosion. Resource ripeness meter is like the outside thing of it. Oh wait, no, the explosion might be like a certain type of resource. And then the little ripeness, it's like an avocado. You gotta make sure you get it at the right time, otherwise it's really, really like tough. Uh, claimed resources are blue. Or red or green, I guess. So we got a bandit hive over here with a threat of 32. It says that my strength is 5 and my threat is 5. So find scrap, find goons, find res. So I assume this is res, this is goons, and this is scrap. That's my, that's my assumption here. So if we look, this has a 12. Well, Candy Dan has a 12. I have a 5. But it says, to find goons, I have to go here. So let's go here. Why I don't even trust my own office chair these days. Let me be the first to admit that we can't survive out here without the help of others. We should consider trading goods and supplies with people, rather than trading insults and bullets. If a hostile confrontation cannot be avoided, then we should consider taking off. We don't have to fight every lemon that looks at us the wrong way. Okay. Um, other captains remember everything everyone has done to them, both good or bad, play nice and make friends, use the speed button to escape or chase down fast-moving captains. Salutations! Uh, hailing frequency is open, state your business and designation, fight, high threat, trade, offer tribute, increase relations by lining their pockets with resources and loot. See all kinds of information about this captain, including what he had for lunch. Um, if you listen very carefully, you can hear him inexplicably explaining away contrived plot twists. We don't have any relationship with him. Uh, level 5, threat 12, he is fully healthy. He does not have a lot of political weight. He is an honor he is honorable, benevolent, and timid. He has twenty res, hundred goons, and two parts. Things I saw, things I did, faction. I don't see what he had for lunch though, so fuck you, game, you lied to me. Um Exchange resources, ship parts, station modules, and strike craft trading will increase relationship. So he has Oh, hold on. Hide equipped parts. I want to offer you some scrap. Oh, I guess I can't offer that. I can offer some res. Wait, is this like his slider? Candy Dan, you don't have anything to trade, bud. Do you see this? You have nothing. Okay. So, goon- oh! This is... someone else, so we'll just head over there. What is this? A raid? The problem with building an enormous structure that wraps around the entirety of a star is that it can make a huge mess when that star decides to have a stroke and blow up. Automated drones now comb these colossal scrap fields, collecting anything worth salvaging. It is owned by another captain. So I cannot talk to him, apparently. We found the res. Okay, let's... What is this? Bandit Hive? Threat 20? Well, let's come down here to this thing, because it wants us to find res, right? Res field. Close. Okay, so I found res. Does it want me to ransack the damn thing? Pillaged it. As much as I detest this hellborn excrement, we're stuck in a universe addicted to res. 
We are no different. Without it, the res drive will collapse, leading us to limp along at subwarp. We'll be easy pickings for bandits, or anyone else looking to kick us while we are down. So res is what we use to move the ship. The faster you move, the more res you burn. Res can be bought and sold. So I ransacked this dude's res. Probably ain't too happy with me. Owner, Mr. Poner. Mm hmm So I guess I have to ransack this dude's stuff too? Blocked. It is currently blocked. Jack Showman. So let's come over here. To this thing. Res minus two. So we want to click on the outpost. It's not exactly what one would call a happy childhood, but deep space clone farming is still safer than being stuck planet side in a hostile galaxy such as this one. Every so often a fresh batch of humans can be harvested from here. Uh, yeah. It's mine now. I sense some underdeveloped crewmen require contextualization about how urgently we require these basic resources. More specifically, human resources. Mm -hmm. The ship requires an astronomical volume of periodic maintenance and repair. These tasks are far too dangerous to allow anyone with a shred of intellectual value to perform them. Therefore, we do not turn away many applicants. Remember, the bottom of the pyramid needs the most bricks. Accurate. Of course we need bodies to operate and maintain the ship's systems, but we also don't want to feed any more mouths than we must. Most of our food is fabricated from res. Balance is the word of the day here. Goons are needed to both operate and repair the ship. If you do not have enough goons, the ship will decay and take damage. Beware goons consume res over time. Goons can be bought and sold. Cool. So I have 85 out of 60 goons. And now I need scrap. So we'll just go back here and I guess ransack this place. Ransack. It's mine now. Finding good, fresh, refined alloys isn't easy. Everyone wants them. Nobody is making them. Even if we don't immediately require scrap, it's good to keep some around for trade. Every space nugget in the void will accept it as currency. Scrap is a basic low value trading resource. Okay. Oh, I thought I leveled up. So, um... Yeah, I guess let's find some more res? In fact, let's, uh, let's head out here. Let, well, let's check out the... Now this. we have some currency to spend. We should stock up on strike craft. We do not want to get overwhelmed when engaged by multiple targets. Plus, it gives our enemies something else to shoot at instead of us. Keep a supply of strike craft to assist your mothership in combat. Strike craft can be purchased at star bases or found as loot from combat wrecks. Lore. If we tune our warp frequency just right, we can sometimes pick up residual data transmissions bouncing around the old warp network. Though the gates are smashed beyond repair, some seem to be able to hang on to these low-density data packets, like a ghostly reminder of our past. This is dirty. Find lore to earn to learn more about the universe itself. If you listen to our damn lore, we'll give you stuff. You have discovered a remnant Oh, of the past. Scan it to view its secrets or file it for later viewing. Well, scan it. And I got the stuff and I don't have to watch it. Nice. Buy Strikecraft. Oh, so that's our place! No? Oh, that's their starbase. Oh. Okay, so why can't I buy strike craft from here? Faction skill power, faction skill armor. So what if I just go to this guy's starbase because I'm literally right here? Though I am completely disgusted by the idea of cooperating with others in a fashion that implies intellectual equality, it often cannot be avoided. Just try not to get extorted too severely. Uh, star bases produce and trade ship parts. Each star base will specialize in two fields of technology. Beware the star bases value markup. The higher the markup, the worse the deal is for you. All map locations provide a production tech bonus to the star base that can claim it. Star bases share production tech with other connected star bases of the same faction. In addition to a markup, a starbase will also charge faction trade taxes. Sometimes trading with the other ships can be more profitable. 
Okay, so this is an unclaimed base. This is an owned base. Has a bounty. Is that little thing. Is your base. Is a capital base. Is the faction. Local features and threat assessment. Trade. I didn't actually see their markup. Hold on. What was your markup? Starbase. Damn it. Markup 146%. Okay. That seems like it's kind of high. Theirs is 143%. Theirs is 150%. Theirs is just 100%, but I'm not sure I want to go all the way over there. But they appear to not have any strike craft. So I guess it really wants me to go over here. This is a raid? I don't know what a raid is, but I kind of want to avoid it for right now. Someone restocked. There goes a couple of our res. Move to. Trade. Gimp? Equipped with a shotgun as well as a weak cannon and missile, strikecraft are mid-class individual ships that will assist the mothership in combat. Well, that's really expensive, so we're gonna get... Is there a difference between these two? It doesn't look like it, so... Trade, scrap, 272. I got a strikecraft. Right? I got- I got a strike- I got a strike craft? Inventory? Oh, it's not technically equipped. Do I have to equip it? Hold on, I think I have to... Strike craft. What is this? Strike craft? Okay, that's like fixing them. Assemble ship. Do I have to, like, put the strike craft on me? Oh. Oh, this shows how your ship fires, so that's nice. So I need to know that, like, attacking back there is not great. Resume. Relay point designated. Oh, I got a relay point. That's E. I'm like toggling between different things in the bottom left and I have no idea what they do. So I guess load game? Oh shit, I don't think I saved before this. Oh shit, tell me I don't have to do all that again. Oh shit, I didn't save. I don't know how to get out of that freaking menu. What I'll do is in between episodes I will do all of that again and start up again where I left off last time. My name is Nagark. Or start up again where I just left off but didn't save because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to get out of that freaking menu. So my name is Nagark, this is Spaz, and thank you for watching.